go. So hello everyone, welcome back down here at the bar and we are in for another solid matchup. This is round number three. We're getting down to the wire. Yeah, matchup two. Matchup two. So this is the last one to get into the finals. Yeah. Well, the finals before we match up our Yeah, it's like the semi-final, the final for our own bracket, right? Yep. So I have the Rochester Whiskey Enthusiast, Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Mm -hmm. And then I have the Stag. Batch 18. Batch 18. Yep. Yep, it says it on the back. So batch 18. Yep. That Stag. And then what do you got? And then for me, I have the uh the rerun winner. Yeah, right. This one actually got knocked out the first time we recorded, but the audio was crap. It came and back. Came back. And uh, like you said, with any of these, I think any of these could just about change daily for us. Right. Especially getting this far into it. Yep. Um, we like what we like. And then actually the Knob Ryans is my uh, my other one here for the, the last of the final four. So these are going to be blind, even though it's not double blind, because we know what's left. Yep. Um, it's our only option. Yeah, pretty much. So cool. Um, turn my back. Keith can pour mine out. Yep. And then... Uh, Write Keith it down so Keith, I don't forget. Yeah, Keith has to write his down. Yeah, because I, I have a brain of a squirrel. That's fine. It's all good. So we'll do that. And um, yeah, we'll get this rolling right through it. Awesome, man. Ready? Yeah, I'm good. Whatever you are, man. I'll try to go fast. No, I'll take the time. Don't rush. Do not rush. So this is going to be Ben's B bottle. This one here. Oh, gotta clean this sucker out. Don't forget to clean out the. What do you? What did you call this thing? A jigger. A jigger. Don't forget to clean out the jigger in between pours, because I think it really makes a difference. I think it's. I think it spoiled the. Uh, I almost poured it right into the glass for you. I'm not gonna complain with either of those pours. No, I wouldn't have either. And this is gonna be Ben's A glass right here. Let me write this down before you turn around. Go for it. Take your time. No rush. Now clean this out. You're good. Start to cut. All good? Yep. Alrighty. Well, that was quick and painless. Well, kinda. My turn. Okay. All right. Don't let me forget to not leave this single barrel. Okay. You can leave it here. That's fine. <laughs> you got some. What's that? The John Jay. Yep. Got a little, got a little ragoon. <laughs> I don't know where you came up with that saying. Hey man, you gotta come up with what you come up with. Whatever's on top of your head, you just gotta grip it and rip it. I gotta go for it. Just gotta grip it and rip it. Man, I'll tell you, I'm excited to be able to drink that Cooper's. I almost killed that the other night. I called you <laughs> and I was like, I think I'm gonna kill this right now. Um, you know, which is funny. I don't know. It was funny to me anyway. Funny to me. I wouldn't have held it against you if you did kill it. It's your bottle. Right? Yeah. Alrighty. I suppose you're about ready. Okay, you're ready. I'm even going to shake both of these so you don't know which one I just picked up. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't <laughs> I didn't do that. Did you see the one that I did? Okay, yeah. good. I didn't even think about that. So, for anyone doing this in the future, be aware of the bottle shake. Because I would pay attention to that. Double shake. I'd be like, hmm, what's going on here? Shake them both. All right, yeah. I, I'm going to start out just go left, right, like I usually do, mm -hmm. which is my A glass. Which is my A glass, but I don't know what's in A, so fuck it. I don't know if I know what's in A. Well, it's written down. <laughs> I know what's in your A. Like we said, like, all of these are going to be great. I'm not even yeah, these like, are all probably I'm good. not really going to talk much about, like, how good they are because – they're all amazing. I mean, anyone that has had any of these types of bottles know that they're really good. And that Southern Star just keeps on kicking here. Well, I'm going in. Cheers. Do this. This is my A glass. Dude, it's got almost like a light. 
It's not like a caramel right off, but it's something like that. I must be thirsty because I'd skip past the the nose and went right to the taste. This one is like traditional bourbon sweet, vanilla, um, a, a tinge of like chocolate molasses. Delicious, dude. Um, both of these are higher proof, so the Russell's is 110. What's the SAG one? It's in the 120s. No, 131, sorry. 131. Uh, 131. Yeah, so this is 131. So they're going to be mm-hmm. quite a bit different, but they're both going to be proofy, especially because... Both mine are really close. I think the knobs 120. 120 and this one's like 117. Yeah, so they're... 111, sorry. So they're in there. Yep. They're definitely in there. Oh, we forgot Buffalo water. Sorry, dude. Oh, snap. That's okay. No, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. All right, I'm going on to B. Keith must have had a hard day because he's drinking these barrel proof ones and he's like, I don't need no water. Well, sometimes I think it makes a big difference. Ooh, this has got like a deep, like, almost like a, maybe a little bit of like a peanut note. Okay. Peanut, peanut brittler. My glass B is in. Peanut brittler. My glass B isn't as nice on the nose. Like, I'm not getting as much sweetness okay. out of my glass B compared to A. And what kind of sweetness were you getting? Oh, uh, like the van- vanilla. Yeah, traditional, that vanilla. Mm-hmm. I think of it like vanilla caramely type deal. Obviously, they're both high proof, so you're going to get the little, you know, a little bit of that bourbon hug. What are you, you, he's making funny faces here. I came off so funky. <laughs> funky? Like weird. Okay. That's I'm interesting. Sure, I'm not sure if weird in a good way either. Man, well, I just talked about it, but both of these pours are Both of these are nines. Age, dude. They're nines for me. Like easy nines. Yeah, these are these are mid-eights. Um, both of them are like. This one. This is kind of the way I'm leaning right now. I'm thinking this one's like an 8-2. This one's probably more like an 8.5. Mm-hmm. That A glass. That A glass is just really phenomenal. The B just comes off a little funky. Yeah. I don't know if I like the funk. Okay. I like the hang. What with kind it. of funk? Like a feral funk or? This is, a, this is like a funk. It's not like a woody, it's not like a woody funk. It's just like an off normal. So what flavor. I think of what I think of as funk is like we have our traditional bourbon flavors, right? The mm-hmm. barrel, a little, you know, a little bit of the barrel char of that. There's traditional hardly any char sweet. with these, dude. Right. But then when we go away from that, mm-hmm. especially getting into the, like for me, it's those Jack Daniels that you get that weird banana flavor. Like that's that's funk to me. Banana. You know? No, there's no banana. There's no banana on this. I was drinking Jack single barrel the other night and that was all banana. So my A glass, I don't care which one it is, is is phenomenal. The nose on it is probably one of my favorites. Um, I get just traditional sweetness, but it's like a sweet forward. And then it kind of, as it works across the pail, it just kind of never quits. Mm-hmm. Like it goes from a sweet to yeah, both of these just got a hanging palate, a dude. really nice finish. It's not bitter. It's not overbearing. It's got enough proof, um, that it stays there. And remember, when this fall started, Keith was like almost spitting out 105 proofers. And now he's just, you know, spitting on these, you know, barrel proof stuff. And he's just like, don't even need water, bro. It's just different. You know, it's just being acc- acclimated it's to what I think. It worked up. Um, yeah. And I mean, our warm ups were pretty. They were um, stout. Yours was 90, so a little light. Yeah. Um, and then mine was uh, 110. Mine was 110. Actually, Keith poured me the right. I, tri- I tricked one, him. We did, which, a, I, which I knocked out way in the beginning. We did a blind, yep. and he's over here looking, 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 and it was this one right here. So yep. I, because that's the game. Is I anything open? Up. Yeah, anything open. Unless we say we can open a right. fresh tracker for it. Hmm. This is really tough for me. The more I drink these, the more I like them, and the harder it is to make a decision. Because they're both really good. To me, they're both eight, eight and a half as far as like a score to me. If you just said, here's a bottle, Ooh, score it. There's caramel on the back of this one now. On the, on, the, glass, on the finish? On the B glass finish. Like a really nice, rich caramel. Like mm-hmm. an apple caramel. Apple caramel. 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 That's good. This is tough. Dude, these are both like, I, you could flip a coin on them. That's what I was just going to say. You could flip a coin or bring oh, me back in an hour. This is hard, dude. In an hour and I might 
This is why I like the three way Pick lines something different. because it's five <laughs> three one. <laughs> right. You know. You know, that's just got the nose on A was just mm-hmm. it was just right there, dude. I think I have a winner. But then I, mean, I, I almost want you to re pour me a little bit of each. <laughs> that's how I feel. Yeah, because this, this is tough. tough. The closer we get to the end. Dude, that's got like a deep almost maltiness to it. Okay. This one just comes off a little bit of that. It's not barrel it's not barrel funk though, but I don't know what it is. It's like a um Oh, I know what it is. It's like a fucking hay note. Okay. Like a like, like a, a herbal note. Yeah, like a hay strawy kind of note. Mm. But then it had a nice caramel finish on it. I don't it remember just, anything about that Southern Star. It's been so long since I've had that. Um I couldn't tell you the first thing. I know kind of the profile of the knob for me. Um it's funny though, like the stag is way higher proof. Mm-hmm. I don't, but when you drink them blind like this, side by side, it's hard to pick up the one ten to the one thirty one. It can be absolutely, you know? absolutely. I I feel no difference with the proof with these two, either. I mean, mine are within ten points, but mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna have to go today, um, just because I like the depth of it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And not almost that it bounces all over the place. That's where B is going to fall short for me today. Okay. The A just has that nice rolling, evolving depth. Okay. Of, you know, it's kind of like a maltiness, but not really. So you want A is your winner? A is going to be the winner, 100%. So, so that's your knob. That's the knob. That, that's, that's such a knob. good pick. Such a good pick. And that too. honestly, the when you were talking about it, it oh. didn't really surprise me because that's what I get with a knob. It's just... It never stops. It's the flavors, the flavor, just, the complexity. There's a reason why there's a pile of knobs single. Yeah, over and they're always good. Best. They're always good, and they're always sixty bucks. So, yeah. Um, for me, and this one I think is still available at Ryan's. It is. Home. Last time I was there, I was there. Yep. Which was so that's two, a really good pick. Ago. So, um, I know that's one of the ones that's been flirted around that we might do a pick with with K and M as a knob. Knob's been thrown around. Woodford's been thrown around. There's a couple of them. I know, just waiting on barrel availability. Yeah. So. Um, for me, this is tough, but um, I, I'm venturing to guess that B, you got them lined up, that this glass B is stag mm-hmm. and the glass A is Rochester whiskey. But I could be completely wrong. But for me, to me today, um, I'm really digging the nose on A more than B. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying the flavor on A a little bit better gotcha. today. Gotcha. So whatever it is, for me, A's moving on today. You stag? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's excellent. That batch 18 is the best. The, I've, I've had, really I've had good. four different stags. The mm-hmm. 18's been my favorite of all the ones I've tried. Yeah, that's really um, good. I have a, what's a 23 and yeah. here, which a lot and of I people like, like. I'm not I a didn't fan like of it. it. I, did I not had a like four of it the other night, too, and I just... Yeah. It's not that 18. And that 18, you know, what's really hard is these are really good bottles, mm-hmm. which has let me drink some of these down. Mm-hmm. You know, we got a bunch of them, uh, you know, sampled out that we yep. had po- opened up and stuff like that, that we gave, um, that we will be giving away tonight live, if you're watching this. Yeah. In real time, we'll be giving away the 12 whiskeys of Christmas and our uh, engraved bottle. Nice. tonight on the show if you're watching this live the live show the live yeah. show will be doing it so we have at the time of recording this we have over 50 entries right so which far. is a pretty good amount that's dude we had 20 today's we're shooting this on a wednesday we yeah. had 20 today alone i saw that on facebook and i was like it Holy was blowing up which dude. is really cool so i'm bummed the rochester whiskey doesn't move on um so i think that means the southern star goes back up on top of the bar yeah it does yeah yep so so what's really cool though is you for the what's really cool is there's two have, knobs. Yeah, there are two knobs. So um that's kind of a unique deal here. We got the knob for me, it's a knob tin woodsman store pick, which mm-hmm. isn't the store doesn't even exist anymore, but yeah, it's a knob this store one pick. Knocked off the knob store pick for Keith. Yeah. So again, it's it's yeah. crazy. And like we said though, with these dude, you could flip a coin. This one was just, this one's an eight, five plus for me. Yeah. It's delicious. And this one's a low eight, eight, two. So the next matchup for Ben, 
going into the finals mm -hmm. for his own bracket is going to be the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. The regular standard yep. buy-it-on-the-shelf rare breed. The, dude. You know, what is it, $60 bottle, whatever it is. 50 50 60 buy it for 51 dude and buy it yeah every and, time and you then, can. yeah right and then just keep buying it mm -hmm. um can't go wrong and that's not just from us you look at any tiktok any youtuber you that's put them in blinds bourbon, dude they're blind and killers. they're there so they are blind killers um ben has the rear breed versus today's winner the knob ryan store pick so and keith will have the knob 10 woodsman's versus the stag badge 18 and the uh second matchup well the finals matchup Finals for our own bracket. Finals for our own bracket. Yeah. And so, then, so once that's over, so after next round, um, then we're going to put Ben's winner against my winner, mm -hmm. and then that will be the winner for 2023. So, and we're looking at timelines with this. So the final will be, we'll release them back. We'll release the two back. Two back. weeks, right? Yep. So the sixth, the, sorry, the 15th, when you're watching this, the 22nd will be our final. And then Christmas Eve, I will drop the video. So Sunday we'll do a special Sunday drop of our final matchup. Our, yeah, the our, our the, winner versus our winner. So the winner of 2023. And actually, they're going to be two different ones. We have four different ones in our final. Yeah. So we have again. So yeah, for Ben, that's crazy. So no matter what, we'll have two different bottles facing each other in our final. Right. Exactly. Which is really cool. So if it wasn't that, if that wasn't the case, then obviously we wouldn't have a third. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a final of the brackets but yeah so it's rare breed knob ryan store pick knob ryan tin woodsman store pick in the stag batch 18. so no matter We're what slamming bottles dude yeah absolutely so, so cool till next time thanks for joining us down yeah. here at the bar if you like the content let us know in the comments below drop a like hit subscribe. the subscribe button if you're watching this it's too late to enter into the it is too late contest so yeah. hopefully you got in on it and um we appreciate you all checking out all these videos, all the content, uh, support that you give us, whether it's liking, sharing, commenting, all that stuff. Let us know what you think, and we'll catch you all next time down here in the bar. Thanks. See ya. See ya. So.